Yeah, there's a very fundamental difference. And it goes back again to history. Um, in the early church, there were, two, there were views, different views about the relationship of the Father and the Son to one another. Um, what we recognize as Orthodox Christianity and what I believe actually traces its roots back to the apostolic era is what's commonly called Trinitarian Christianity. In other words, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, three persons. And in my research, I believe that goes back to the original apostolic uh, group. Now, whether they use the same language that we do today or not is, is, is open to discussion but that they believed in the essential deity of Jesus. I believe that the early church, the, ap the apostles, believed that. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And that that is the correct translation of that verse. Okay? Now, in the early church, there was a group of people called the Arians. And they said, no, Jesus is a created being. He's not an eternal being. And this was the watershed. Is Jesus created or is he an eternal being? Has he always been or was there a time when he was not? That was, that was the watershed issue. What we recognize as Orthodox historical Christianity became, was, came out of the group that said, no, he is not a created being. He has always been. The Arians said, no, there was a time when he was not. Jesus is a creature. Okay? The two sides. Jehovah's Witnesses are Arians, essentially. Jesus is a created being. That is a fundamental, basic difference between the two. Okay? Now, Jehovah's Witnesses have other things that they really emphasize, which is the end of the world and all their prophecies and so forth, but uh, which, and they're the only group, and they think, then they've made specific predictions that the world was going to come to an end at a certain time that have not proven to be true. Uh, and I have some of the old literature where it's in the literature. We are predicting this, you know, such and such a thing will occur, and it didn't occur. So there's that side of it too that's, I think, really important. But if you want to look at theological differences, this was he created? Yes or no, that is a core theological distinction between traditional Christianity and Jehovah's Witnesses. There's others too, but that's what I would peg as the main difference or the, a substantive difference, if you please.